Ladies and gents, welcome back. I hope everyone had a happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Sorry, I almost said Thanksgiving to the whole audience. I know our American counterparts have Thanksgiving in a different time altogether, but over the weekend we had Thanksgiving here in Canada, and uh, many people going back to see their families. We did the same. The kids love seeing grandma and grandpa, so we got to go do that and eat some tryptophan-filled food. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, our prime minister, of course, taking advantage of the opportunity to do a photo shoot and give platitudes to those poor plebs that are starving and hurting in this time of year with his, of course, Social media posts, stepping up, helping out, and giving back. That's exactly the incredible volunteers at uh, Kanata Food Cupboard have been doing for years. Obviously, I applaud them for their service, not particularly this politician who loves to show his face in times of need. Today, we stopped by to help them pack hampers for families ahead of Thanksgiving. We need we thank them for the difference that they're making. To which I replied, when charity needs industrialization, you've destroyed the nation you were hired to lead. This is Trudeau's Canada where more people are suffering because of this. Now more people replying to this tweet, Freedom Fry saying, imagine having to imagine having the nerve to spend twelve thousand of taxpayers' money on groceries and then using a food bank as a photo op. Wow, indeed. Now, of course, uh, the typical media out there saying, Trudeau gives heartfelt thanks to food banks, healthcare workers, and Thanksgiving message. Of course, all platitudes because of, well, this is Trudeau, his words saying, well, <laughs> probably not his words. This is written on behalf of the Prime Minister Trudeau. Over the past two years, people have had each other's backs as we recover from the pandemic. Well, I don't think he had our back for the most part. As we recover from the pandemic, we give a heartfelt thanks to countless volunteers, food banks, and charities who lend a hand to help make a better world. I obviously agree with that. Uh, thank you to all the volunteers that are out there helping to make a better world for everyone. We also thank our everyday heroes from healthcare workers to remember the Canadian Armed Forces and humanitarian aid workers, all to all those who dedicate their lives to service and help change our world for the better. Uh, apparently, we didn't have enough money uh, for to help the veterans, but well, that's just him. What he did have enough money for, though, um, well, this is reported from True North. Trudeau residents spent twelve thousand dollars on groceries, boutique goods in one month. The records show that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's official residence spent more than $12,000 on groceries, dining, a chef, and boutique goods in one single month last year. And access to information package obtained by True North gives an inside look into the luxurious lifestyle of the official residence of Canada's Canadians as Canadians struggled to pay their bills or afford basic goods. Now, I wasn't aware up until this point that we actually foot the bill for his groceries. I know we gave him a place to live while he is in office, any prime minister, but I didn't know that it was an official thing to pay their grocery bills. Uh, they get paid enough. They get paid quite a hefty salary. Hundreds of receipts and invoices increase, uh, released by the Privy Council office show that from March 2020, sorry, 2021, to September 2021, the average monthly cost on groceries and dining for the Prime Minister's household reached 7,861. Many of these specifies, specifics on the invoices and receipts were redacted. However, costs and locations were still included. A vast majority of the over 500 pages in documents were for grocery retailers. Just months before the last federal election, Costs ballooned to an astounding $12,125 in July. Trudeau's itineraries from the that month showed the Prime Minister spending much of his time in Ottawa and parts of Ontario. Prior to that, the resident reported a $10,095 bill for food or related expenses in May of 2021. Trudeau spoke to Canadian Taxpayer Federation Federal director Franco Terrazano about the expenses. This is a ton of money that they're spending and it's 
way more than families are spending on their groceries and dining. Terrazano wrote in an emailed statement, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau needs to immediately explain to taxpayers how they're racking up such a huge bill and what value taxpayers are getting for that money. While taxpayers are spending more and more on their groceries, not because they want to, uh, but because they have to. Now, of course, uh, I spend, uh, this is a meme that went out uh, from Ken Windsor on Twitter. I spent $144,000 a year of your money on groceries, lol. How are you, all you peasants doing this Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, trust Justin Trudeau spent more than Canadian taxpayers' money on groceries than most Canadians earn in one year. Let that sink in. That is what we're dealing with here as inflation is pricing people out of uh, meals. Uh, people are choosing whether to heat or eat this winter as the, re the cost of energy is going up as well. Again, I had no idea that the prime minister's office or the prime minister himself had meals paid for. This is a perk that I wasn't aware of. Let's... Uh, Let's raise some more attention to this and get this uh, information out there for more people because uh, if if more people were, became aware of this, maybe we can make a change to that. I think prime ministers make enough money to pay their own grocery bills. Maybe that's me being a cynic, but I think they should pay for their own groceries. Let's just uh, think of that as, as uh, the holiday season uh, passes by us here for Thanksgiving. We're moving into some other holidays as well. Uh, American Thanksgiving's coming up. So all my American viewers, a uh, happy preemptive uh, Thanksgiving for your, uh, I believe it's in November, you guys will be celebrating that. But we just had that this past weekend. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I really do hope that you had a good one. Sorry if I just induced your morning with rage on your Tuesday back to work. Uh, but that's... Uh, that's what I do here. I give you the information on what's happening here in Canada. And, uh, well, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how your Thanksgiving went and <laughs> how things are going for you. Uh, let me know what you think of Justin Trudeau spending so much on tax taxpayer money on this exactly. But this is uh, all I got for you in this video. Please consider subscribing um, as well as hitting that notification bell. That no notification bell actually lets you know when I go live. I'm going to be going live tonight. I have uh, Dean Billings coming on. We're going to be talking about the education system here in Canada. He is running for school board trustee in Richmond, British Columbia, but you're going to have a lot of um, elections coming up soon. And what is most important to note is that you do not have to have a child in the education system to run for or vote in the school board trustees. So we're going to be talking about that this evening. Tune into that at 6.30 Pacific time. Check your local time zone on when that will be coming up. But uh, we'll be live tonight. We'll see you then. Keep on trekking.